Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn and this is the iFixit Rundown where I give you all the news that happened this month at iFixit. If you've got a mid-2015 15-inch MacBook Pro that needs a little work, I've got something that will help you out. Whether you need to fix your display, clean your fan, or replace your SSD, we've got you covered with all the detailed instructions you need for a successful repair. Most of you know we have impressive tools and guides to help you with your next repair, but we're more than that. We pride ourselves on being full service and a one-stop shop, so of course we offer the parts you need too. Our iFixit quality parts go through rigorous testing before we sell them, and they even come with a lifetime warranty. So remember to check out our parts store before you do your next repair. Over at our blog, we have a great story about the beloved children's show Sesame Street and the neighborhood's own fix-it shop that will be closed due to a cast member's retirement from the show. Is this the end of repair shops on Sesame Street or will a new shop owner pick up the torch and teach kids about repair? Because every kid needs to hear that they can fix the world. There's also a touching tribute to a father that has passed for Father's Day. Our very own education aide, Marty, tells his story of how he was able to honor his dad through repairing his old bike. He states that for him, repair can help us fix much more than a throwaway economy, overflowing landfills, and a poisoned environment. It can connect us to others, even those who came before and are no longer. Catch up on both these stories and more on our blog at ifixit.org. On our channel, we have a new fixers in focus for you. This one features Rob Appel of mansewing.com. He started out as a sewing machine repairman in his family shop and has moved into a career of teaching people how to sew on the Man Sewing YouTube channel. He's so energetic and informative, you don't wanna miss this one. And if you're missing the force touch in your iPhone 6S Plus, we have a great video guide on how to replace that tiny Taptic engine. You'll be back to peaking and popping in no time. Check out both these videos on our channel. Now it's time to give away some swag. We have two shirts for one lucky winner. Last month, we asked you to tweet me a picture using our tools, and it's always great seeing all of you repairing, but there can only be one winner. And today, that winner is at Jer underscore Ying. Congrats and enjoy your swag. And that's your June I Fix It Rundown and the last one for me for a couple of months. I'm taking a little bit of time off to be with my family and get to know the new little man in my life. But don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. Make sure you keep up to date on all of our projects by following us on Twitter at iFixit or checking out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iFixit. Hopefully you're already subscribed to our YouTube channel, but if you're not, go ahead and click that subscribe button now. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.